everybody. It is time for the Wednesday Word. My name is David Bradley. I am the host of the Wednesday Word. This Wednesday, today's word, living. Let's do the definition real fast, right? Let's just get that part covered. Meaning, having life. I want to do the verb version of the word living. It means having life. Also, the condition of being alive. Now, when we look at the etymology, the history, we show origins uh, meaning action, the doing, right? Which comes back to the condition of being like living, right? The action of living. It's an action. It's something that you do. Process. Mm. And then method of gaining one's livelihood. Like, so that's another meaning of living. Like, hey, what do you do for a living? Like, how do you, you know, what is your method of gaining one's livelihood? Meaning money. So here's what I want to do. First question. If the definition, when you look it up, the first thing you see is having life. So the question I just want to ask is, are you having life? Or is life having you? Like, what is your condition? What is your condition of being alive? As you may or may not know, I am a sales and marketing manager with Grant Cardone. I've been working with Grant since 2011. And I think it might have been in 2016, 2000, yeah, 2016, we did a webinar based on Grant's book, the, the 10X Rule. It was called the 10X Super Life Series. And before we did, did the webinar, we started bringing people, inviting people to come and, and said, hey, this is going to be an interactive webinar. If you want to participate, you got homework. You can't show up unprepared to this webinar. You have things you need to do in order to get the most out of this webinar. So I'm going to share with you a little bit of that so I can give you a taste of it. So check this out. Just a moment ago, I asked you, what is your condition of being alive? And in this webinar, Grant tells us that there are seven levels, seven levels of living. And let me just break them down for you. Number one, family. Two, business. Three, physical four, spiritual, uh, five, financial, six, communal, and then seven, recreational. So what I want you to do, I'll repeat those, what, I, what I'd like you to do is just go through each one of these and rate yourself on a scale from one to ten. This was the exercise that everybody had to do before the webinar, is just rate yourself on a scale from one to ten on where you're at. What is your condition of being alive in with your family? What is your condition of having life in your business? What is your condition of being alive in your physical body? What condition is your body in? Spiritual. What is your condition of spirituality? What is your condition financially? Living, being alive financially. Are you alive financially? Right? That's a great question. Uh, communal. The community you, you live in and reside in and work within. And what is your condition of being alive within your community? What is your condition of being alive recreationally? Like, what do you do for fun? When you do stuff for fun, are we going all out or are we just sort of, eh? Okay. So take yourself and just look at where are you at right now in each one of those seven. Family, business, physical, spiritual, financial, communal, recreational. Next. Where do you want to be? What is living at a 10x level? So if you took where you're at right now, multiplied it by 10, what does that look like and is it possible for you? What would your life look like if you literally 10x'd your family life? If you literally 10x'd your business, your physical condition, your spiritual condition, your financial condition, your communal condition, the impact you have on your community, your recreational life? What would happen? What would your life look like if you 10 x it, if you multiplied it by 10? What would that look like? Is it possible for you? Because if it is, if you've decided it is, if you're thinking, yeah, that'd be awesome, man. I, and, and it's real. I could do that, okay? In order to create it, it's going to require time, money, resources, and most importantly, here's what I'm going to leave off. I'm, I'm going to ask you this final question and I'll let you go do these exercises and really work on this. 
What are you willing? You ready? Buckle up. What are you willing to give up? See you next week.